Today we're going to have a look at how to read a text file into Unity. This can be really useful, for example, for getting a list of non-player character names and then applying those names to characters. You could use this for a whole range of things from reading and stats, but the good thing about it is it allows you to make these plain, easy files. It also works with a CSV file, if that's what you'd rather. If you want to go to the next level, you can use an XML, but I would use an XML reader for that rather than this. Now let's get going and have a look how to do this. So the first thing you'll need is a text file. And you just want to put some names in this text file and put enter after them. Don't press enter after the very last one, otherwise you'll get a blank entry. So if I pushed enter here, I went onto this line, the last entry would just be a blank name because I'm going to use the enter key to read when the next one is coming in. You could do this differently. For example, you could use commas. So let's save that. And the first thing you're going to need to do, make a folder for your scripts. Let's just make a script called read text file. And let's open this and put some code into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add another library. We're going to use the system library because we're going to use text asset and string split. So the first thing here in way of references that we need, we need a reference to the text file that we're going to read in. Next, we're going to need an array to write those names into. So the first function we're going to need is to actually read the text file in. This is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is get your names array and then use the text.split to read it in. Now this forward slash n is the carriage return key. You could, for example, if you put any letter you wanted in here, so for example, you could put a and it'll split the entries based on a. Another really common one that I use is the comma. And you can actually have two entries in here like that. You don't need both, but I'm gonna leave both in case you wanna read in the CSV file because they're called comma separated values and that works really well and you can export those from Excel. And that's all you need to do to read your text asset into your names array. We also need to call our read text asset in our start function and save this and we can go to Unity and test it works. I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm just going to call it code. And I always just round it out to zero because to me it feels weird having random numbers on it. I'm going to drag my text file onto it. Now the text file that I made, I'm going to put into the resources folder. While it works in other folders in the editor, when you compile, it really only works well if you have it in the resources folder. Now I can go and drag that text asset. Now let's hit play. As you can see, the names are filled into the array. So that's how you actually read the text file in, and that's that's all you're looking for. You can stop here, but I'm now going to do two more steps. First step I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual game object's name to those names. I'm going to randomize the name that they get, and then I'm going to put the name above the character on a canvas. So let's go back to our script. To do this, we're going to need another variable up here. And we're going to have a list of objects that we want to name. 
Next up, let's write a function to apply the name to those objects. So the, fact, the way we'll do this is we'll make a for loop that'll loop through. So at the moment, I've only got one game object here, so we want to turn that into an array, so we've got a number of game objects. Then what we'll do is we'll use a for loop to go through each of those objects and then apply a name from the list of names. Just be aware when you're doing this, you want your objects to name array to be the same or lower than names, otherwise you'll get an error. You really want to put error checking in to handle those sorts of things. We're not going to put that in here because it's a very simple example, but normally you would go and you might want to check if your object name, objects to name.length is less than or equal to your names.length before running this and in that way you won't get a crash or, an, or a loop or something like that that you can't get out of. You also need to make your apply objects in your start and save that and let's go to unity and test. We now need to add our objects to this. I'm going to use the keypad up here to lock this so that it doesn't go away when I click on something else. I'm going to highlight my three astronauts and I'm going to pull them into my objects to name. And so now you can see the three astronauts there and I'm going to click the padlock to unlock that. Hit the play. And now you can see these objects have had their name changed. So next up, if you wanted to actually, for example, put the name above their head, what I've done on each of these is I've created a canvas, I've changed it to world space, and I've put it above their head, and on that it's just got one little text object, and you can put a name there. So what we're going to do next Go back to our script. And we're going to add another variable. This time this variable is going to be for those text mesh pro objects so that we can apply the name now. And we'll also have to go up here and add the library for text mesh pro. And let's just do this in the same function down here for the apply to name objects. Let's copy this for loop and just modify the for loop to work with our new. Let's just copy the for loop and we'll make a couple of changes to make it work with our new variable. So first of all, you want to change this to text. And this to text. And we need to make sure that this is an array up here. So the other thing that we'll need to change here is we'll need to change this to text rather than name. Test this. Go out to Unity. So click on your code. Lock this over here. And let's drop our texts in. Let's unlock that and press play. And now you can see the names there. But the thing is, at the moment, every time you press play, they get the same names because they've been read off the array the same way. So the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to get a random name and to get a random name where you're not reusing the same name twice. So let's go back to our script. And the way I recommend doing this is rather than like pulling a name out of the array and saying it's used, I would just shuffle the array on when you read it, and then you've got a different random array every time you read it in. Then, if you're using it to name players as the game goes on, you just create an index, which would work out where you are in the array. Since I'm only naming on start, I'm just going to shuffle the array 
and then it should give me a, ran a random number each time. So let's call it make a function to shuffle these. Also remember to call your function. You'll want to call your function before applying the name to the object. And a simple way of doing this is just run a for loop the number of times you want to shuffle and each time we're just going to swap two random elements in the array. So first of all we need an index that will be the first random number and then the second random number. You notice on this line I've put unity engine dot before random that's because the system library also has its own random and in this situation because I'm using the system library I need to tell them tell it which library to use normally you wouldn't need to do this so now I've created the second index and I've made it equal to the first index I'm just going to create a while loop until the random number finds an index which is different to that. So now that I have two random indexes, all I need to do is swap them. You can't directly swap them because otherwise you'll lose one of them. So first of all, you need to save the value of one of those, of the string in one of those indexes in a temporary variable, and then you can swap. And that's all you need to do. So save that. And let's go back to Unity and see if it works. I'm just going to hit the play button. And we got Fred, Joe and Kobe. I played again. And this time we've got Sarah, Izzy and Kobe. I'll play once more. This time we got Kobe, Jane and Joe. So as you can see, we're getting random names for each of them each time we do this. You can use this for a lot of things, so hopefully you find this useful and you can use it in your game development. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe, like or comment. I'll always try and answer any comments of people that are having problems with this.